Alright everybody, welcome back to Night Ripper Sports Cards. It is release day. We finally got our update series, 2024 update series, jumbo and regular hobby box in. <clears throat> so, that's what we're going to be ripping. I only got one of each. Um, just because I got so much of series two that, uh, you know... Saving money and whatnot, so, but we got one of each, so that's what I'm gonna open for you today. Hopefully, we get something. Hopefully, we get something hot out of one of these. I've seen a couple different videos on these. I'm currently, watching Striker while I'm opening here, so you know. But these look like a lot of fun. I also saw Western New York, um, his video on what the print run should be. So if that's true, then pretty much all of these boxes should be awesome because it basically cut the print run down in half. So we're going to save all three of these packs for the end. I'm gonna move this out of the way here. We're gonna leave this propped up just like God intended. Alright. We're gonna get into it here. I enjoy I've enjoyed uh, watching people open these so far. Uh, Paul Skeen's rookie right off the bat. That has got to be a good sign. Jackson Holiday, true rookie right off the bat. We'll take those wins. <clears throat> Mason Wynn, debut. Skeloff, debut. Holiday, debut. Evan Carter, debut. Heck yeah. Dominguez debut. We've got a backwards card here. Not sure what that's going to be. Looks like just a rainbow. Yeah, gold foil. Nice. We'll take a Wyatt Langford. True rookie gold foil, though. We're going to take care of that guy in just a second. Let's see who our rookie mystical is. Paul Skeens. Let's go. Not numbered or a variation, just one of the bases. But hey, we will take that all day long. And that's also an insert. <clears throat> all right. We're going to take care of these guys here real quick. Starting off hitting... Let's go. This one doesn't look centered very well, but other than that, it looks pretty good. <clears throat> All right. So far, so good here. Jerickson Profar. He came out of nowhere this year. I'm sure the Padres were thankful. Skeen's debut. So there we go. Merrill, true rookie. Heck yeah. <clears throat> Who is your guys' uh, pick for the winner of the World Series this year. We all know it's probably going to be the Dodgers and Yankees going to the World Series, so let's just start there and then uh, tell me who you think or who your pick is to win, not necessarily who you want to win, but who you think is going to win. I think the Dodgers are just rolling too much right now to, uh, to lose and that sucks because I am a Diamondbacks fan and being in this division 
It's like the same story every year and we're tired of it. Joey Bart, not the pirate you want, but that's all right. Looks like another rainbow foil here. Yep. Hurtabees, I don't know how to pronounce that last name, so I probably butchered it. And I'll let him cook soda. These are cool inserts. I like those. All right. So we all know what we're looking for out of these. One auto, two mems. Those are what's guaranteed. I've seen a lot of people pulling two autos and more than two mems out of out of these, but you know we'll see if that holds if that holds up here. There's Cheerio. I don't like that they expanded this checklist. I think they could do without some cards, like stuff like this. You know, it doesn't need to be another 350 cards. But there are an insane amount of rookies this year. So this drop is going to have... Oh, there's Ellie's debut card. We'll take that. Stuff like that, the debut cards. Ooh, looks like we got a uh, throwback stock here. What was that, Andy Pages? This is going to be the throwback stock. Ooh, 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 it's a pirate. Is it a rookie? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on. That looks like a pitcher. That looks like a pitcher. Oh, Hunter Stratton. Man. Still a sick pull, but not the Pirates pitcher you want. 98 out of 99. I'm going to take care of that real quick. I'll take that throwback stock. I'll throw him out back there. All right. Carrying on. Ben Rortvet. That's an interesting name. Joey Gallo on the rainbow. Why is this guy right in the middle? Oh, all-star game. No, he's not in the all-star game jersey. Interesting. Which, they're going back next year to uh, letting players play in their team uniforms instead of having the all-star uniforms. Which, I guess for uh, you know, the sake of The players and the fans, it's pretty much all I've heard is that fans want players to go back to playing in their team unis, but for these cards, it'll be harder to tell which one is which. There's Rafaela. I don't know how to pronounce his first name. I've heard it pronounced tons of different ways. There's Jared Jones. And... Uh, so he's just going to be Rafaela, because I don't know. I don't want to butcher it. There's Colt Keith, true rookie. We'll take that. There's an Otani. Japanese-born home run record. Otani stands alone. Rowdy Telez. There's Yamamoto. On the debut. Uh, getting down to it here. There's glass now on the rainbow. 
Reagans on the All-Star Game, and then Jackie Robinson on this. I looked up what these were called, and I cannot remember what it was. But these are really cool looking inserts. These would have made a really cool variation, kind of, of like the, uh, of the, uh, HFAs if they give them like a hollow finish and made them like super rare. I think those would look really cool that way. Okay. Henry Davis. Lee. Tucker Barnhart, Cheerio debut, 400 cards in here, so you would imagine that I should get close to uh, pulling the entire base checklist out of this release, but you never know. Erod, biggest mistake. There's Lawler's debut, we'll take that. Marte. Okay. Another gold here. Is that Jair? I don't know how to pronounce his name. And then Keegan Aiken on the gold foil. Jordan. Willie Mays on the black gold. That's a cool one. Parker Meadows rookie on the 1989 stock. All right, we haven't seen any of our mems or autos yet. We have three packs to go, so I can only assume that all the hits were left in each one of these. So, <clears throat> well. This one's not a mem, so I'm going to assume that it's our autograph and skip. Oh, no, we got a couple. We got more than that. Okay. I don't know how to count. Don't worry about it. Now we're officially at halfway then. Okay. Watch it be the autograph pack anyway. I do like that they got rid of the manufactured relics this year i haven't seen anybody pull a manufactured anything it's all been uh game used like whether it's all-star which those are really cool or the just game used regular napkins I'd rather see that than than a uh i think we did get our auto in this pack i called it without calling it on accident Andre Lipsius, Lipsius. All right, not the guy you want to see, but an on-card auto nonetheless. All right. Finish this up here with our rainbow Rene Pinto or uh, gold foil, sorry, mystical Bryce Harper and Tariq Skubal. Nice. Another Langford rookie. I'm going to start going through these base cards a little quicker here so I don't bore anyone. I didn't mind the uh, Silver Slugger ones. Oh my god, no way. Did we just hit a heavy lumber? Guys, we just hit a heavy lumber. Yep, this is, uh, 
Oh my god. No freaking way. Alright, well. Here we go. All-star game. The Autumn Tales for Joe Carter. Eddie Murray. Got a Brave again. Hank Aaron. Heavy Lumber. Heck yeah. Look at that. These are sick, dude. I love these. That is a cool pull. The one I got out of, uh, I think it was Series 2 was Austin Riley, I believe. That is sick. Hank Aaron. All right. <clears throat> we still have two mems to go here. Three packs to go. Keith debut. Think, yeah, I don't know. It's a toss up. Heavy Lumber and HFA. Those are my favorite case, my two favorite case hits, but uh, I think the Heavy Lumbers are less common. Oh, there it is. Snuck up on me there. Heston Kierstad. We'll take that all day. Heston Kierstad rookie patch. All orange, just in time for Halloween. And that she had gold. Andrew Knizner, Knizner? That one's confusing. Shota, Autumn Tales, Willie Mays. Ooh, Jackson Cheerio on a 98, or 89. Nice. All right, two more packs. If you guys have made it this far in the video, go ahead and Drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. Is that a platinum? No, there's no way. There's no way. It's that gray color. There's Geloff, Holiday. Carter, Emmanuel Herrera, nice. Okay. There's Luciano. No, I don't think it. I don't think it's a platinum. Clayton Beater, rookie on the gold foil. We'll take that. Bobby Witt, an all-star. Wyatt Langford, heck yeah. We got some more sleeving to do. No, it's just a major league material. Okay, that gray color, man. It really got me there. There's Jackson Merrill. Major league material for the Rays. Junior Caminero, black number to 199. We'll take that all day for sure. Let's go, baby. Heck yeah. That's a good pull. Numbered rookie game used. Not game used, player worn, sorry. At least both of our mems were rookies. We'll take that. Got one numbered one. This is a great box. All 
All right. Last pack. You never know what's going to happen. Auto two mems and a heavy lumber and the uh, throwback stock. I mean, if nothing else comes out of this box, this was a fantastic box. We pulled the case hit box or a case hit box out of this one. We'll take that all day long. There's a Soto. Blaze rookie. Nice. We got a black border too. Heck yeah. And something color. Oh, no. All right. Yamamoto on the black border. Let's go, baby. Is this the 774? Heck yeah, 53 out of 74. Let's go. This box was absolute fire. Absolute fire. I actually have another one of his cards I sent off to PSA. It's an, true one of the true rookies, but it was the green foil um, to $4.99 I think and his money grand all nice and uh, I got a message ooh Junior Caminero on the mystical too I got a message back from PSA that while they were encasing my card they damaged it and asked me what I was okay with as far as a solution. Just absolutely ridiculous though. Um, that, that, that that's even a thing. They damaged my card. But they are making a right. They're crediting me back the fee. The grading fee. They're crediting me back the, uh, the amount that I declared the value at. Which I guess they were. They agreed with. Now. Um, who knows what it actually would have been if it got a 10 and they do win the World Series because that changes everything uh, but you know I think I declared the value at 50 bucks which is probably pretty con uh, conservative <clears throat> and uh, So I got $75 back. They're also sending me the card back. Um, they said it could be encased with the, uh, the grade that it comes out at after it's damaged or just authentic. I had them, I'm having them send it back to me just as authentic because I think it was gonna be like a PSA 4 or something like that, which doesn't look good on the slab, but just authentic I feel like looks better. So that'll probably be just a a um, PC card, but you know. All right, so here's our numbered stuff: the Joey Bart, Ben Rortvet, whatever, Jair Camargo, and Machihan. Then the Mysticals. We got all three rookies: Skeens, Langford, Caminero. How can you beat that? Clayton Beater and Wyatt Langford. Those are the golds we got rookies. We got the Yamamoto to 74, the heavy lumber of Hank Aaron, the throwback stock of Hunter Stratton, the Andre Lipschitz autograph, and the two mems, Heston Kierstad rookie and Junior Caminero rookie numbered black to 199. Guys, that was by far the best case or best box of uh, jumbo 
that I could have asked for. I mean, that was nuts. That was nuts. And we haven't even opened the silver packs. That's crazy. Absolutely just crazy. But as I promised, we're going to open both and save all three of those packs for the end. Because I like my dessert when it should be at the end. And we'll see what kind of hits we can pull out of this box. Who knows? You can pretty much get everything um, that you can get out of the other box. There's a couple HTA exclusives, but and there's an exclusive to this format as well. The uh, clear acetates are exclusive to the regular hobbies. I don't have enough room to keep this one open as a display, so I'm going to take everything out of here. I'm in a transitional spot here in the house because we are getting ready for our first child. So here we go. There's something Wyatt Langford on the back of this pack. This one will try and fly through here. Mystical. Jackson Holiday. Heck yeah. Just keeping those hits rolling. And Wyatt Langford just on the uh, debut there. These are cool and I like these mystical inserts. Those look really good. We'll throw him up there for now. I will go back and, and um, at least soft sleeve all these rookies afterwards. And this is already a big enough rip. There's Yamamoto again. Jerks and Profar All Star Game. I'll try and separate all the inserts and stuff here. and skeins on the debuts again. We'll take those. Lawler. And we got a numbered. Dude, if this is another autograph of the same guy. Andre Lipschitz again on card auto. This one is numbered to 199. How do you how? How do you get the same guy's auto in two different formats like that? I mean, at least we got an auto and not a mem, but come on. The same guy? I'll take it. our first gold of this of this box here Hector Neris Here's Cheerio Blake Snow. All right. Jackson Merrill. I'll take that for sure. Noel V. Marte. It's the Autumn Tales of Corey Seeger. Air Jones debut. Oh, 
All-Star Game, Luis Reyes. Jackson Merrill. J Dom. All star game. All right. I wish I would have been able to open some uh, Cosmic. Man, that stuff looks sick. And Dominguez has his own insert set, the Martian. And then bringing back like Mars attacks and stuff like that on those. That was a sick insert set. Thank you guys again for watching. This is a lot of fun. I just enjoy getting to open cards and share them with you guys. If you could drop me a like, subscribe, so we can continue to try and get cards and expand this channel, that would be amazing. Alright, what do we got? We got a green. Skeens and Grandal. Take that. It's got skeins on it, so it's a win. And our second gold, Chris Martin, J Rod, Ellie, Impress on the veteran combos for All Star. Or no, that's just a regular card. All right. Here's our first black gold, Wyatt Langford. Jackson Merrill on the All-Star game. It's cool. Looks like it's an image variation. Good day when we can open some baseball cards. Larry Carter. Let's let him cook. Fernando Tatis. Stephen Kwan on the All Star game. Those are cool. And Caminero rookie debut. It's a crazy release. They have their base rookies and their rookie debut cards in the same release. It's pretty cool. It just makes this release worth so much more. One of those guys is going to be one of the greatest of all time for sure. There's so many good rookies. It's just insane. Just absolutely insane. All right. Dylan Cease. In Hui. All right. So we're doing this too to see kind of what is the best format. So, so far, Jumbo's blowing this out of the water, but there's still time. There's still time. We've got a Young Huli rainbow foil. Take that. Jaron Duran. Throw that in the to be sleeved pile.
We got another black border. Blake Trainin. Black borders coming out of hobby right now, left and right, guys. This is crazy. I'm gonna need to go get more top loaders. I didn't imagine, I didn't think I was gonna top load this many cards. I did not think I was gonna top load this many cards. Westberg. Kevin Newman. All right. Three more packs. This one and two more. This one and two more, and then we've got the silver packs. There's another Blaze rookie. Randall Grichik, Paul Skeens, rookie on the All-Star game. Heck yeah. Let's separate that out too. Ildemaro Vargas, one of the coolest names. And on the mystical, Ronald Acuna. We'll take that. Rafael uh, debut. All right. We saw our hit in this pack is a rainbow foil, so it looks like this is going to do it for us. It's Tucker Barnhart. I'll take that. All right. So, compared to the Jumbo, the Jumbo smoked the regular hobby box. No questions asked. Um... This is the silver pack that came out of the regular hobby box, so let's see. Now, if this has an absolute monster in it, then, you know, it can be saved, but it doesn't look like we're getting any color out of this one. Ichiro, Clemente, Brett Harris, and Roger Clemens just on base mojos. All right. These are the two that came out of the jumbo. That thing was a hot box, so I don't imagine we're getting anything out of those two. And I'm wrong. There's a purple back there. Greg Maddox. Is it a purple auto? No. Greg Maddox, numbered to 75. That's cool. Greg Maddox, I mean, just an absolute monster. Absolute monster. Last silver pack here. All right. Doesn't look like there's any color. Jackson Cheerio, though. We'll take that. Ricky Henderson. Jared Jones. And Young Huey, hey, we pulled some good rookies. We pulled some good rookies. That's that's a win. That's a win for sure. All right, awesome. So there's those. Let's see. I'm going to take care of these and then we'll go over the short list of hits in this box here.
And these are in addition to all of the badass rookie cards that came along with it. So let's not forget those two. Absolutely. Take these guys. So it's Hector Neris, the duo in immediate hit for Skeens, Chris Martin, the 2024 Young Hu Lee, Rainbow Rookie, Mystical, Ronald Acuna, Jackson Churio, Jared, Young Hu Lee, Rookie Mojos, Greg Maddox, numbered to 75 Mojo, Wyatt Langford on the Black Gold, Jackson Holiday on the Mystical, to 74 Blake Trinan, and the Black Auto. To 199 of Andre Lipschitz. Um, the same auto out of both boxes. I, I can't, you can't make this stuff up, guys. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. Um, I've got some blasters on order. <clears throat> so I'll be opening those. Uh, I heard they're not doing the um, monster boxes, so obviously won't be getting any of those. Maybe I'll pick up some more hobby at some point. I don't know. Um, but probably just blasters from here on out. They are back down to 25 bucks a piece, so that's not too bad. So thank you guys for watching. We'll have more videos to come. Um, We'll see you in the next one.